the quarterbacks who would benefit the most from a draft mulligan. Now, we're taking it all the way back to when they were drafted, not what team should they go to now or should they go to a new team. Quarterbacks that we know very well, based upon how things have gone or haven't gone, going back and reshuffling and getting to go to a different team. So, Devin, I'll give you the first pick. And you can use Bryce Young if you want to. Usually when we do the Bryce Young Memorial Draft or name it after somebody, we exempt that person. You can pick any quarterback you want to get a mulligan in the draft. I got to go with the guy I got to see firsthand. It, it, it's got to be Mac Jones. So much coming out, going to New England. It hasn't worked out. Now he's backing up Trevor Lawrence in Jacksonville. Maybe Miami calls him and he gets traded to Miami. But Miami, San Francisco, a lot of teams are thrown out of places he possibly could have been. I know Mac would love to do the draft over again. I'm going to start that same draft. And when the 49ers traded up from 12 to 3, at first we thought they were going to take Mac Jones. Then they settle on Trey Lance. Shanahan wanted a guy that would play a little bit more like Mahomes, run the play that's called. If it doesn't work, then you can move around some and extend the play. It just never happened. And Trey Lance should have never wanted to go there. They had Jimmy Garoppolo. It was clunky. It was awkward. And now he's buried on the depth chart in Dallas. I'd love to see Trey Lance get a shot to start his career over again, drafted by somebody other than the 49ers. There we go. The guy who so far has looked good and falls into the circle with all of the former Jets quarterback, Zach Wilson looked good in Denver this year in the preseason. I, I just think he got drafted in a spot and was expected to play when a lot of people felt like he wasn't a project that was going to come out and play right away, needed time to develop and get better. So I think Zach Wilson would love to be on any other team when he got drafted other than the New York Jets at that time. And we mentioned him earlier, but I got to I got to mention him here because it comes from this this long run of quarterbacks. The Jets have ruined Sam Darnold. We're seeing what Sam Darnold can be six years after he was drafted. And if he had landed with a great play designer, a great play caller, a team that had resources around him. He might have become like right now. It's so hard to push back against the narrative that's out there about Sam Darnold because he got ruined by the Jets and now he's being resurrected by the Vikings. All right. All right. One more round quarterbacks who could use a draft Mulligan draft. Devin, who else do you have? Boy, that is it's just depressing to see. But yeah, it's just sad that those guys didn't get a chance to flourish. All right. Who else do you have? I'm going to go Justin Fields. Justin Fields goes to Chicago. He looks better now. He's 2-0 and as a starter. Still not complete, but now it's like, what if he would have started on this trajectory as a rookie where he's at now? Justin Fields definitely will want to do over. My last pick, I don't feel great about it, but Jordan Love had to sit on the bench for three years. Jordan Love was the bystander to three years of dysfunction between Aaron Rodgers and the front office. Like, if he would now. Any anyone but the Jets, right? I mean, it, it ended up okay, but that probably made him who he, he is. If there's a place he could have gone and been able to play earlier, he'd be even better now. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.